In this clip, we'll look at how to figure out how much money somebody has earned on an investment. In other words, the interest that was earned on the investment. So I'll show you an example here, and then later on, I'll get you to practice a problem on paper, and I'll show you the solution over here. Let's go ahead and have a look at our problem. If $1,200 is invested at 12% per year, compounded annually, how much money is earned after eight years? What makes this problem a little bit different than some other problems is that it's not asking for the total amount after the investment's done. It's asking for how much money is actually earned after the investing. So there'll be one extra step near the end that I'll show you. But I know since we're talking about something being compounded, I'm going to need the compound interest formula. So let's review that pretty quickly. The formula looks like this. And the first variable is A. It's the amount in the account after we're done the investing, and it's in dollars. P is the principal, also in dollars. It's the amount that we start off with before we go ahead and do the investing. I is the interest rate, given as a percent in the question. And N is the exponent. It's the number of times the money gets compounded while it's investing. Let's go ahead and list our givens in this problem. The first important number that I see is this $1,200, and that's the amount that's being invested, or it's the amount that we start off with, and that is our P, principal. So I'll say P is equal to $1,200. The next value is this 12%, and that's how fast the money grows, which is the I, interest rate. So I'll list I as 12%. Finally, I need to determine n, the number of times the money gets compounded. Since we're talking about money that's compounded annually, I know the money gets compounded once per year, because that's what annually means, once per year. And we're doing that for a total of eight years. So I'm going to have eight compounding periods. So n is eight. So far, this problem is identical to pretty much any other compound interest problem. The next thing I need to do is take my given percent, which is 12%, and convert it into a decimal so I can use it in the formula. So to do that, I'm going to remove the percent sign and then slide the decimal point two places to the left. And I arrive at 0.12. And if you need help converting percents to decimals, please check out an earlier mini clip called Converting Percent to Decimal. Now, like any other problem involving compound interest, I can just plug my values into the formula and solve for A, which is the amount of money I have in my account when I'm done investing. My principal was P, $1,200, and I have 1 plus my new I, I converted to 0.12 in step 2, and my exponent, the N, was found to be 8 in step 1. Now, I'll put these two numbers, the 1 and the 0 0.12, together in the bracket to simplify the equation. So I'm going to say 1,200 is equal to 1.12. And I'm still to the exponent 8. Now, I'll do this math on my calculator in the next step. I'm going to take 1.12 to the exponent 8, get my answer. Then I'll multiply it by 1,200. So let me show you the steps on the calculator. I'm going to say 1.12 to the exponent, this x to the y button, 8 equals, then I'll multiply it by 1,200, which is the principal. And I get a value of $2,971, and we'll say 16 cents. We'll round that off. So the amount in the account is $2,971.16. So far, that's identical to earlier clips where we looked at compounding interest. However, this final amount is not the money earned. This, this amount includes the amount we started off with. In other words, it has the principal plus the money earned. And that brings us to the next step. The money earned, or the interest, 
does not include the amount of money we started off with. So money earned is the amount minus the principal. So we need to do that math now. I'll say money earned is equal to the amount, which is what we found in step three, $2,971.16 minus the principal or the amount that we start off with, which was 1200. And you can use your calculator for that step if you like, but I'll just show you that the money earned is $1,771.16. And that's the final answer. So the important point to remember is that if you're asked to find how much money somebody has earned or their interest, you need this extra step. You have to find the final amount and then minus the principal from it. And the final step, I'll just show you my concluding statement. Therefore, the money earned is $1,771.16. Okay, grab your paper and let's get ready to practice finding out how much money somebody's earned. Here is your practice problem. If $2,000 is invested at 10% per year, compounded annually, how much money is earned after five years? So try that one on your own and you can click when you're ready. And here's your solution. The money earned is $1,221.02. We found that by first listing our givens, converting the 10% into decimal, plugging our values into the compound interest formula, and solving for the final amount. Then we deducted the principal from the final amount in the last step, $1,221.02.